everyone and welcome back to today's video i hope you're all keeping well if you are new my name is shebo thank you so, so much for clicking on this video please do take a moment and subscribe to my channel down below i would really really appreciate that so yeah i do upload every sunday but i plan on um uploading more videos for you guys probably twice a week um we'll just start with that and see how we go so in today's video i'm quite excited because i'm doing a full face of essence products you guys know i love 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 essence products i've done a tons of reviews on some of their products they're quite amazing uh they're affordable of course they won't break the bank let's just put it that way so yeah if you guys are excited on seeing how you know the whole interface will look like with essence product of course keep on watching but before i get started i just want to let you know that i don't have any essence uh, brushes but i'll be using just my normal you know uh, regular brushes that i use which of course are these ones here so yeah without further ado let's get into the video so to begin i'm going to start with my eyebrows you guys are looking to see there they are not happy at the moment and um, yeah they have their moment so let's just uh, make them happy so i'm just gonna go ahead and fill them up using the essence eyebrow pencil in zero to brown which looks like this so i'm just gonna go ahead and of course just you know make them happy eyebrows done they're looking nice and beautiful way better than before and i just used the um essence stain natural concealer in the shade 04 soft honey looks like this and i just uh, cleaned up the you know the edges of the brows to make sure everything is nice and even and i'm going to use the same concealer on my eyelids just add the primer like that and just uh, blend everything together i'll show you how this concealer looks like so it's one of those you have to twist of course um i'll show you how the shade so it looks like that it's nice and creamy which is good so let me go ahead and uh blend this one before it dries up So moving on, I'm going to take this um, shade right here. This one is called 04 Set the Stage and it is actually a lip powder, but I do use it as an eyeshadow. It works just fine. And I'm going to apply this all over the crease. Look how pigmented that is. It's such a beautiful color. So yeah, just blending it right here. Just tapping the axis off. It is such a pretty color. And moving on, I'm going to use um, this one here. It's called uh, number 18, Black as a Berry. It's uh, it's like a purple-ish purple eyeshadow. Very, very beautiful. Um, I'll just show you how this looks like. It's like that. Very, very nice. So I'm going to apply this um, just on the outer edge um, of my eye just in here. Just to detect to um to deepen up this area a little bit like that. Can you see the difference? It looks really really nice. It sort of adds, you know, um that deep purple, which is really really beautiful. You can, of course, add more as you wish, but I try not to, you know, not overdo it. I think I will stop right there. It looks quite nice. I like how this looks like. So, yeah, now that I have the two uh, eyeshadows uh, laid together properly there, as you can see, looking beautiful. Now I'm going to move on to the eyelid and I'm going to use this uh, melted chrome eyeshadow. And this one is in the shade 02 Ironic. It looks like this. It is a beautiful, beautiful color. I'm just gonna swatch that for you guys so you can have a look. Look at that. That is stunning. It's beautiful. So this one will go on the eyelid. Just in here wow that looks nice just packing it on you 
Next up, I'm going to apply this lip liner on my waterline. I know this is supposed to be for the lips, but I do use it on my waterline sometimes, and it's fine. It works just fine. So the shade is 10 Pink Candy, and it looks like this. I'll just swatch it for you guys. Such a beautiful, beautiful, stunning pink color. Like that. So nice. So I'm just going to apply this right here. And also I just want to add this same shade to my waterline as well. Um, just a little bit to bring this pink color even more. Alright guys, so this is how the eyes are looking like. They are not completely done yet because I still need to put on some mascaras and all that good stuff. But I'll leave that at the end. I'm going to move on to my face now. So to begin, I'm going to use the Essence uh, Prime Plus Studio Matte Fine Plus Pore Minimizing Primer, which looks like this. So yeah, we're just going to prime our face. I like this primer a lot. I've been using it recently, so it's it's I'm I'm really enjoying it. It's nice. It is much fine primer, which is of course suitable for us with oil skin because you need uh you know you need a much fine primer to help control those shininess and oiliness that our skin produces during you know during the day so a good primer is always essential and I always put more you know where I normally get oily the most which of course is my t-zone area especially around my nose here this place is the worst when it comes to shiny. Alright, so that's done. And next I am going to apply foundation. I am going to use this one here. Of course, from Essence again, it's their Soft Touch Mousse uh, Makeup Foundation. And it's in the shade 60 Matte Mahogany. It's this one right here. And... I haven't used this foundation yet, so it's going to be like first impression uh, as well. So this is how it looks like inside. Hmm. An interesting smell. I can't really tell what that is. Anywho, let's find out if it's going to be my shade even. Uh, ooh, it feels quite nice. Just gonna put it here, you guys can see. It looks like that. The back of my hand, but let's put it on the face. Oh, what do we think of this? All right, um, just gonna apply it everywhere. Everywhere. It feels very, very creamy. Very, very creamy. What is this supposed to do? Anywho, hold on. Let's find. Let's find out. Um, let's find out. So it's supposed. So it, it is like a matte finish. It's supposed to give you a matte finish. Huh. There's not much information at the back of this, to be honest, but. I guess it's supposed to be a matte finish as it says so we shall find out after it does blend nicely although I'm not sure if this is the right shade for me looks a little bit more more orange <laughs> should I say um, let's put a little bit more. Yeah, it looks a little bit orange, to be honest. But let's keep blending and pray for a miracle to happen. Yeah, it, it does dry really fast, so be warned about that. Make sure that you, you know, you just 
apply and blend straight away because if you're gonna wait or take your time it's gonna dry out on you so just be warned about that and I know I like to take my foundation down my neck you know so we try to get sort of like a same kind of situation I don't know what do you guys think let me know down below but it looks like the wrong shade for me I'll just swatch it on my on my chest actually so you can see I'll swatch it right here uh, see compared to my chest that's how it looks like but from here when you blend it it doesn't look doesn't look too bad look at that although but on my face it looks very different hmm I'm not liking that at all yeah I may have to probably get a different shade because this one here is not the right one for me sadly but we're gonna roll with this because I don't have any other foundation from them this is the only one that I picked so I probably have to you know to try find the right one anywho and um, yeah let's move on so we're gonna of course uh put some concealers underneath my eyes and i'm going to use the same one that, that i use on my uh on my eyelids of course and just gonna twist 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 oh that's too much that is too much just put some right here not so much just a little bit Like that. Should I put some on the forehead? Or maybe. Probably some along my nose. And around my mouth too. <laughs> Alright, it's time to blend. Blend, 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 blend. Oh, I need to spray my sponge. It's a little bit dry. Where's my spray? Here we go. -da -da. Okay, now we have a damp sponge. Let's blend out and find out. Hopefully the concealer is going to save the day. Anywho, uh, we're gonna continue, we're gonna move on. So I am going to set my under eyes, of course, and you know, where I put the concealer, and we're just gonna set that area up, and I'm going to use this one. I'm quite excited about this um, Brighten Up Banana Powder from Essence. It's this one right here. I heard good things about this, so I am praying that it's gonna work for me. Um, I really hope so. Come on now, open. It's open, I got it. Um, so this is this is how it looks like. Ooh. It smells quite interesting too. But this feels really nice. It doesn't feel chalky or anything like that. Can you guys see that? Hold on, I'll show you. Other side. Oh wow. That feels that feels good. Hey, hey. That feels nice. Anyway, let's set the under eyes before before it's too late. So just gonna do that. I've seen a couple of videos um, about this um, this powder that is really 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 good. It's really really done the job. So I was like, hey, I might try that. So here we are today. And right here, the cozy nose. And around the mouse area. So next I'm going to move to the powder and I'm just going to, uh, of course, powder my whole entire face to make sure that that foundation looks nice and set. So I am going to use this uh, Mad Fine powder from Essence. Of course, it's this one right here. And 
Why do I always struggle to open these things, honestly? Come on now, come on. It looks like this, guys. That's the shade I picked, and it's called 60 True Mahogany. 60 True Mahogany. Um, and the, uh, the Brighten Up Banana Powder, that was number 10, Baba, Baba Banana. Oh, that's, that's what it says at the back here. Number 10, Baba Banana. Hmm, interesting name. Anywho, so going back to the powder, I am going to take this brush and um, just take a little bit and just go around around the face pretty much. <laughs> I think I'm going to dust off some of this underneath situation going on here. So moving on, I am going to apply some uh, blush on my face, you know, to add a little bit more of colors. So I am going to use this um, matte touch blush, of course, from Essence and in the shade 60 Cherry Me Up. It looks like this. So it come with this beautiful beautiful little packaging and when you open it it looks like that it's also cool awesome and let's just put a bit on my arm so you guys can see how this looks like so it looks like that it's more like a pinky um sort of shade but let's apply this on the cheeks Let's do that. Smile. Cheese. Am I the only one who always like that, that when applying blush? I don't know why I do that. That's nice. I like that one. I wonder if you can just apply blush without... Oh, hold on, let me try that. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> uh -huh. I'll stick to what I know best, of course. Smile. Smile is good. Smile is the best. Why do I have to keep laying? It doesn't want to show up. Come on now. Come on, blush. Do not disappoint me. Do not... Do not disappoint me. Not now. We're almost at the end of the video. Do not disappoint me. He, come on, we're going to make this one work. Huh? Come on now. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Nice one. Can you see that, guys? Got some pinky going on on the cheeks. That's awesome. That is cool. All right. Okay, so the blush is done. It is time to put some highlighters. You guys, are you excited? I am super excited about this um, highlighter palette. Let me just bring it to you so you can have a look. Are you ready for this? Tana, it's this one here. It is called, hold on, let me read that, uh, Go For The Glow Highlighter Palette. So we get like three different, beautiful, stunning shades in here. I haven't tried any of these yet, so again, it's going to be the first impression. Um, but looking at this, I think I can already tell which color I'll go for. Uh, definitely this gold one right here, because... Probably this I could do, but eh, I'm not sure, but definitely this one. Let me just um, um, stop talking and swatch them for you guys so you can see how they look like. I have three. Which one should I use? This one. So I'll go on each. This one goes here. And we have this one here. And we have that one. So we have three right there. Just going to put this on the hand. Oh. Oh, the pink one looks not too bad. Oh, the gold. Look at that. That's how they look like. 
The middle one looks stunning though. That's the one I said probably it won't work for me. Do I this one here? Where are we? It's this one here, the middle one. Wow. That's awesome, man. Looks beautiful. But of course we want that to perform on the he on the face. So let's find out. Let's find out together. I am going to take this brush right here. This one is from it's my Ray Ray and brush collection. I am going to take um this shade right here. But before I begin, hold on. Uh, I didn't even tell you what's the name of this palette is. Well, it is go for the glow, but at the back here, of course, I think this comes in different uh, shades. And this one particularly, it is the it is called Zero to the Warms Highlighter Palette. Um, so it's Zero to. It's, don't know if you guys can see. It's right there. So yeah. Now let's um, let's put some highlight on the face. I'm going to take this. This gold right here. I think I could probably do both. I can do um, these two, the gold and of course the middle, uh, like on each each side. So we'll start with the gold one. Uh, let's see how this. Oh, okay. I'm seeing something. Something is happening, guys. Are you saying something? That's not too bad. Although you can put a little bit more. I mean, it depends on how blending you want it to be. But this is really good. It's really nice. It's not uh, too chalky. You know, sometimes when you apply some highlighter, they kind of like sit in there. Like they don't really do much. But this one, it's... You know it does something you can see it there it looks nice and beautiful i really like this one uh, i'm going to apply the middle one on the other side uh, using a different brush um so let's put this one here this beautiful pink oh maybe that's too much let's do on this side Ooh. You guys see what I'm saying? Holy mama mia! Oh yes! What do you call this shade? That's an interesting one. Oh wow! That doesn't look too bad either. Ha! Okay Essence, I see you. Yeah, I'm watching, I see you. Wow, that looks nice. It does have like like a blue and a tint, like a bluish, like a blue reflection in there. Can you guys see that? It actually looks nice. It looks nice, stunning. And this side, we've got the gold, and we've got the pink on this side. Which side do you prefer more? This one here, or this side here? This is something different because I don't have any highlighter. That does this to my face. Nope, none, zero, zitch, nothing. Um, so this is the only one, and I'm having kind of mixed feeling, you know. Do I like it or do I not like it? Um, doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad, though. But where will I be going wearing this? Hmm. I'm not sure, but I, I don't know. I'll just. I will decide later. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this one. Anywho, uh, so that's that, guys. And um, do you know what? Should we put the other color maybe on the nose? Uh, let's do this one here. Let's do the other one. You're gonna look like, um, I don't know. But yeah, let's just highlight our whole interface. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a blush. Yeah, brush, brush, blush, brush. Blush, brush. I'm looking for a brush. So I'm going to go in with this shade that we haven't used and let's apply this on the nose. Oh. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> huh. Let's eat more. Let's eat more sometimes. Hmm, that's interesting too. But I don't think I am a fan of this one. This one, I don't leave for. No. Okay, this one is not really my favorite one. It's probably be my least favorite in the whole entire palette. This last one right here. Uh, it's just the way it is looking and it's, yeah, I don't get any wow vibes from it. So, anywho, that's that. Um, the palette, the highlight palette is done. We're gonna move on and finish the eyes, guys. Uh, this eyes needs to be finished and I am going to um, do some mascara, I think definitely and i am going to use this one here this one is the uh, it's essence lash princess volume mascara which looks like this beautiful and we're gonna apply this on my lashes to make sure that they stand out of course because i'm not going to put any um you know any uh false lashes or anything like that um yeah, we're just gonna apply mascaras and we are good to go. So let's do this. And this is how this looks like. Uh, the tip, not too bad at all. So let's put on our eyes. Okay, I think uh, we are done with this mascara. Do we have anything else that we need to add? Let's have a look. So this is how the face is looking so far, of course, without the lipstick just yet and the setting spray, but this is what, what we are looking like, uh, almost a full face of essence, but let's add two more remaining products. Uh, I am going to add, um, of course, um, um, lipstick. I thought I did have some lipsticks, but I'm not sure where they are, but I found this uh, lip liner. And this one is, uh, of course, they are Draw the Line Instant Color Lip Liner. Of course, this comes to sharpen on the other side here. So you can, you know, you can sharpen it, which is quite cool. And this side here, that's where the, the um, you know, the product comes right there. And uh, the shade I picked is, what's the name of this shade? What's the name? Come on, show me some names. You can have a name. You can have a name. Oh, it's right here. Uh, it's, it, it was on the lid. Uh, it is called 15 Burgundy Spirit. Looks a very beautiful, beautiful shade. And let me just swatch it right here so you guys can see. So you can see how it looks like. <sighs> Ta -la 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 -la. Okay, I think that's more than enough. So it's this color here. So that's the color I chose for this look. Um, it's a very beautiful, more like um, like a deep red uh, sort of, but feels very matte. So we gonna apply this on the lips, of course. I'm going to just clean. Hold on. Let me get a clean one. So I'm just going to. Uh, make sure my lips are nice and clean. Like that and I'm going to line line them. I'm probably going to apply this all over actually. Oh, this is a beautiful color I can see already. Mm -hmm. Okay, and just feel everything. Oh, I like this color. I really like this color a lot. Oh, wow, that looks nice. Holy moly, that looks nice. It is like actually that this trunk. Oh, it dries. But that this transfer. Hold on, let's just have a look here. That's not too bad. You can't see much. Hmm. Impressive, impressive. All right. I was going to put a lip gloss on top of this, but now I'm not sure because I kind of like this, but I'm just going to go ahead and put 
just a little bit uh and i'm going to use this one here of course this one from essence again this one is a smooth gloss and it's in the shade lovely raspberry um so let's let's apply it's just a clear i think actually not really it doesn't look clear but it looks like that and let's just well, that's how it looks like oh that smells yummy oh it smells like oh is this edible hold on it doesn't say that smells delicious oh my god i wish you guys can smell that it smells so so delicious but i'm going to put this um i'm going to apply this on my lips so let's just do that and okay so to complete this look we are going to of course uh set the whole entire makeup because otherwise it will be just a waste if we don't lock our makeup in of course after all this hard work we need to make sure that everything stays put uh everything stays put so we're gonna go ahead and set this makeup using the essence into the snow glow set and glow fixing spray which looks like this and of course we're gonna give it a, a good shake a good shake a good shake doesn't come to the teeth no, no that's good all right so let's um spray this did i put too much no nah, it's okay just have to let this dry could do this oh you know we could use probably a beauty blender or a sponge to just buff it in if it's of course too much i usually do this if i think i may have overspread i just do that and we are good to go so that's pretty much it you guys oh my gosh i can't believe i have done a full face of essence product you guys all oh, empty the g Ooh proud awesome okay uh so this is pretty much the finished look you guys i'll let you be the judge of that on how everything turned out which highlight you like more the best this side here on this side and what do you think of the whole entire makeup do you like it do you love it um let's have a discussion down below uh, and of course, uh, let me know what other videos you want me to do next. I'll be more than happy to see if I can make this one for you guys. So yeah, I had so, so much fun, uh, you know, creating this uh, look and just uh, playing with Essence product. This was awesome. I enjoyed it. And thank you so, so much, guys, for watching this video. I hope you had fun. If you did, don't forget to give this video a massive huge thumbs up. And of course, uh, don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you are notified every time I upload a new video. So you don't miss out. So yeah, that's pretty much for this video, you guys. Thank you so, so much. Uh, take care and I will catch you on my next video. Bye for now.